body bags were Harleys. ECHQ Wednesday review. This week's film is Rosemary's Baby from 1968. Um, it runs for 2 hours 17 minutes and its genre is drama horror. So basically the, the story of the film is um, a young lady moves into a, a new apartment with her uh, husband and they become, she becomes pregnant after a short period of time and basically the film is kind of about her dealing with um, some intense pregnancy pains that she starts getting, um, her own sanity, um, she's having these dreams that kind of, she's not sure if she's in a dream or in actual reality at times. Um, it's kind of a trippy film, kind of artsy at times, um, but they don't go too over the top with it. Um, obviously it's directed by Roman Polanski, he's a, a, one of the f most famous um, horror directors out there um, in the history. So this film is like um, last week with The Omen, this is one of the standout films in, in most people's eyes for um, building a strong foundation for horror in the earlier days. So. Um, I'd heard about it before, I'd seen bits of it um, that I can, over the years, but I couldn't remember it, so um, I thought I'd check it out. Another one I'm surprised it hasn't been reviewed on the channel, so I thought I'd review it. Um, for me, it didn't live up to expectations from how good I hear people talk about it. Um, I felt that it was very slow. Um, just it took forever to sort of build to anything in my opinion it took too long for the actual for her to give birth um, there wasn't enough like it didn't the ending's kind of cool without giving too much away like you don't see the baby but the general idea is that he is the son of Satan um, and has Satan's eyes and things, but you don't get to see the baby, which is kind of a cool touch because it leaves you um, thinking, "Oh, what what does the baby look like?" You like, so you're in suspense, which is kind of a good end into it. Um, but I would have liked to have seen at least scenes with the baby in, like kind of where you're not sure what's going on and like she's getting freaked out and things like that because you don't really see that it's more kind of the dreaming I'm talking about um, and her just trying to plan for when the baby comes and she's getting very paranoid about the people that are looking after her in the um, apartment she's in and stuff um, there's several deaths of um, some of the doctors that are meant to be helping her so she, you kind of feel like she's losing hope because there's a few deaths in it that the doctors would have been there to get her through that process and, and they turn out to die so yeah it, it, it's I just felt that it was far too long a film for the pace that it was at and yeah it was just it, was, it just didn't live up to expectations um, Average IMDb rating is an 8, which I think is ridiculous. Um, I mean, everyone's entitled to their opinion, of course. Personally, I give it a 5 out of 10. Um, it just didn't live up to what I was hoping from what I've heard over the years. Um, so, yeah, take what you will from that. Um, I mean, a lot of you may like the film, but for me... I need a bit more action, a bit more, not necessarily jump scares, but just more um, scenes with things going on, because I felt like there was too many in this that were just, wasn't doing anything, so that's my review for this week, guys, hope you enjoyed it, um, yeah, and I'll see you soon.